Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hi there, my name is Faisal, the CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. Well, in this lab, I'm going to show you how to configure Active Directory on our ECC rack. Active Directory is a vital part of the component, vital component of ECC environment. It is the central location where all your user accounts, as well as your Contact Center Express settings are configured. Uh, sorry, Enterprise settings are config uh, stored as well as a script uh, repository. So we're gonna configure our Active Directory server with AD, plus join all the other Windows server into uh, this Active Directory as a member server. So topology is, again, pretty much the same. I have an Active Directory right here, where once I configure the Active Directory, all the servers that are Windows 2008 will become a member of that particular Active Directory. So I'm right now at my Active Directory server. So I'll go to start, run, and I'm gonna run type DC promo. DC promo allows you to uh, configure Active Directory on, this, uh, on a particular server. Now while that is coming up, I'm also gonna make sure that on my Active Directory, I have a DNS server installed. So that is my DNS server, as you can see, is currently up and running, and uh, it is not configured with any 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 information. So I can just simply change the forwarder, say change it to uh, uh, next DNS server, for example. So this is what I'm going to do. So if this DNS server cannot resolve it, it will go to this DNS server as a forwarder. All right, so my DNS server is up and running, and I will wait for the Active Directory binaries to uh, be installed and give me the steps that are that I need to configure the server. Okay, so it will give you a welcome uh, dialog box, so you can click on Advanced Mode, or you can just keep it keep, keep it simple. So click Next. It's going to ask you about Windows 2008 and R2 compatibility. Uh, we're going to just continue with Windows 2000 R2 as a native. We're going to create a new domain because uh, pod1 currently does not exist and the fully qualified name is going to be pod1.com. Uh, I'm currently working on uh, rack1 so that's why we call, we're call, calling this pod1.com. Uh, this name does not have to be have to be registered with the INA for example. This is, this is where they're asking about the forest functional level. Um, because we don't have any other server other than Windows 2008 R2 we're just going to say the native functionality 